Me, 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 me. Hello, it's me, Zell, and we are here with another episode reaction of Andor, episode three. Hopefully, we're going to wrap up this really long, slow intro to the show and characters. That's what I'm feeling like. So, you know, we're going to have Cassian meet up with this stranger who's going to buy his coordinate business. Maybe this is going to be his end to the idea about rebels. I don't know. Maybe too early. Either way, we're learning some background about Cassian, about his upbringing and this and what happened to his planet and his people, his family and this security company coming after him. Rightfully so. I mean, he did murder their employees. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting, interesting show so far. So anyways, let's just get to it. Let's watch it. Episode three of Andor. Take it away. I love the, just that shot right here down the tube. Gives me a classic sci-fi horror. <laughs> All these people have yellowish coloration, but the grass was also green coming out of it. Is Did they get poisoned or is that their species? The color scheme feels imperial. I want to see Cal Kestis. I don't know, anytime I see deconstructing of ships, I think of him. Aww, a stairs droid? Wow. Whoa, every time. So cool. It makes me realize when I... I actually do really like the space aspect stuff. When I'm on the planet for a bit, I get excited when I see the space and the ships. Am I becoming a ship nerd? Maybe. That guy's back of his head looks a little like Plo Koon. Oh. Let's get that console unit. Maybe. We should quit while we're here. Kid, you don't know what or who's on it, clearly. Republic frigate approaching. Republic. Are you nervous, bud? You know, you kind of set yourself up for this. Are you choking on your aspirations? He's like, what the heck are you doing? I'm not leaving. I'm here to die. Oh. Where's Cassian Droid? Oh, no! Don't! Power supply. No. Shut up! Oh, no! Me, respond. I want you to tell Marva that I'm sorry. Don't. Don't. Don't what? He can take care of himself. You just outed yourself, bro. I know what we're talking about. Oh. How could you? Ooh. What is going on? He just ruined his chance of being with her. Mm -mm. What difference does that make? Ooh. Which is it? That money's pretty. I'll I know take it. A game. I, know you're bribe I don't know you. Fair enough, but I know you. Take me up Rick's Road and hang me in the square. Would it be the first is time? Is that where they hung your father? Who are you? I came looking for something more, and I think I found it. Mm-hmm. Why would I go anywhere with you? Don't you want to fight these bastards for real? Oh, gosh. What is all this? Intimidation stuff. Bluff and bluff stuff. They're working I together. I have a ship near the ferry. You stop! I said stop! <laughs> You look scared, okay. hell. Everyone's oh, running scared, hello? We'll be there soon enough. Hold the Rule perimeter. number two, build your exit on your way in. Brace yourself. Okay, they don't have the box. Yikes. Cover me! Forget the box! Tessa Dodd swinging. Oh! Oh! That would be miserable. Nice! Ayo! Go! Go! Get it! Get it! Ah! Aw, oh, piss. 
was just sitting back there. I thought you were smart. What if he's just one guy left? That wouldn't come here with only four. Max! What have you done to us? You stop right there! Uh-oh. She's bleeding! I'm telling you, Her stop! Dead this. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean? So sad. So much. Two humans. Hello. Just gonna blindly shoot whatever moves. Oh my gosh. Weapons ready. All this for two guys who are. Drop the weapon. They gonna smash you? Hello? Oh wait. Oh. Debated. They baited me. He's feeling real bad now. Is this the beginning of a villain? Come on, we need to get out of here. Wow, beautiful. Oof. The ship powered on because of his whistle, or is there somebody else in there? That's freaking awesome. He left us, I see. His sister and all of his people were left behind. my gosh wow now that was great episode three really good like like i was reading everyone was totally saying like it makes sense like why all three like the first two episodes had to be there for all of the like the build up right and then episode three is like bam action leading in their direction the fact that he what's his dude what's his name luthan found cassian more valuable than that rare imperial because he's like he's like tell me how you did it so he's like well leave the box because your life is more valuable the fact that you've or you yourself already stole that from them we could then have you do that again right but it was his passion and drive and his his braver brave courage that was the valuable part and obviously like even since a young age he had that that anger that you know the fire to want to fight against those who are causing all this destruction like he lost everything the fact that it was an imperial mining facility or mining area that lost the lives of his family outside of his sister so all these things you know and he has that background we still don't know much about that clearly he has some records in his file of impacting imperials so yeah and then this whole security guy uh very much in shock he's like i'm gonna be in big trouble because all these lives were lost these guys got away this has become a much bigger issue than it was before i probably should have listened to my boss i'm way over in my head again he's choking on his aspirations but i'm curious like is he gonna take that forward and want to is he even going to be able to? What's going to happen? Is he going to keep his job? Or is he going to try to be get more position to change things, right? Maybe he's going to join the Empire and become an Imperial officer um, instead of the security. Who knows? But yeah, it was... Oh, gosh. And talk about trauma for Bix. She was left there chained to stare at her newly dead boyfriend, ex-boyfriend guy she's dating but clearly she cared about him and they worked together through a time and they had a relationship and yeah she felt like he did a big dishonest backstabbing thing betraying her friend and potentially getting him killed or imprisoned but that doesn't mean she wanted him to die right and that happened like right in front of him and he was doing that because he was caring about her like he ran after because he's like you're hurting her her she's bleeding and then he died which yeah man it was a lot of like a lot of intense moments and again i i obviously some real life implications um reality that's just completely terrifying and destructive and 
heartbreaking. Uh, but you just see the mess of it all. The mess of, you know, they're trying to do a job and try to be organized, but then that power and authority made them do some things way over, way unnecessary and violent and aggressive. Like, obviously, shooting unnecessarily, uh, killing, you know, killing Tim. He didn't listen, but hello. Uh, like, being brutal to Bix, being brutal to Marva. Like, it was just a very intense episode. I loved, though, I loved that the people came together, that they're clearly, like, all crowding around being like, what's going on? And then they're all doing the beating the tin together. Like, they, you know, doing that, like intimidation tactic but also like a warning and also like a a war cry right like that this is us protecting our own you know sticking together but like keep your eyes peeled but also fight back in the small ways and they and there are people who were fighting back in their small ways like his friend um working at the junkyard attached that chain to that ship preventing him from taking off but then taking out one of them right a guy that was trying to flee or maybe he was trying to go up to the main ship uh, I know they said radio in, but I didn't think it was to leave. Yeah, and then all of those people, like those two, like the father and son, which I didn't really see them mentioned in the other episodes unless I missed it. But they they came and they're like, hey, they're looking for Cassian. Like they were caring and they were told Bix and they were all like, sure, people do dumb things and they might owe money and they might like, but they're like, but we still care about each other. We take care of our own. And even like Luthen coming in and being like, like they don't, you know, their time's gonna come to an end. Like, there's gonna be pushback because it's only escalating. Their authoritative power, like backhanded attitude and fear tactics are gonna push people over the edge. And this is like the buildup of this cruel and harsh world is building up and causing people to act up and fight back. So I like this was kind of that hint of it, of showing like small, small, rebellion acts in these individual areas and towns and planets and the in these people who clearly have their own network to take care of each other but has to be behind closed doors because they're not allowed to do it right i liked i like that there's a lot in this episode that i really liked i i and, and i think that was my favorite part of it was the coming together and taking care um, got some answers about Marva, who she was, and that, you know, just maybe it's luck, maybe it's unfortunate, you know, Cassa or Cassian was in the ship letting his anger out and then came across Marva and her colleague and, you know, potentially saved his life. My guess is, and his potential assumption is she's under imperial maybe she was in prison right maybe she was at like a slave or whatever for them maybe she joined their ranks like we don't know what happened to all those other children i don't think they would just slaughter them all i think bodies at that time of the Rep the empire the republic they said our public ships were coming now i know that was early times like republic and empire were kind of the same thing or what either way just interesting to hear and i am curious about what happened to those other kids um and i'm sure that's going to be part of it is him trying to find his sister on the side while also fighting for a greater cause rebelling against the empire so really good um definitely get that vibe of i i i didn't realize they genre it as spy espionage but it is that feel which makes sense for the very the tone of the show and the vibes and the way they're doing it and um yeah things are ramping up and so i'm hoping they'll give more background a little bit about what built up cassian's skill to handle guns and to walk in and do all these like spy like activity and maybe it is just slowly like him going with a carefree and like they're so arrogant that they're not seeing past somebody like me coming into their ranks so if you just go there acting like you belong that you could just blend in i think that's a big part of it is that his personality and his like just gung-ho-ness is allowing him to do things and then gain skills for doing this risky behavior yeah it's just overall really good i i it's a quite a different taste of what star wars is there's not a lot of whimsy or or humor or lightheartedness in the show that we see in other 
like the Star Wars movies and, and the shows, right? Where they have that little bit of humor. This show hasn't really had that. Like maybe small moments with like the alien, like his alien buddy and the droid and stuff, right? Give that kind of that undertone. But it's really, it's really dark, but that plays into like the intensity of the situation they're living in. But yeah, I could, I could go on, but I won't ramble too much more. But overall enjoying it so far, I think it's going some really exciting places and I am anticipating cool things happening. <laughs> Wow, my vocabulary. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed this review and reaction commentary. If you want to support the channel and support this video in particular, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're interested, of course, in seeing my continuation of reacting to Andor, as well as other Star Wars and other content in general, hit that subscribe button. That supports me, lets me know, lets YouTube know. And it, of course, it, that it'll be a way to alert you when videos go live. We don't, I don't really have a consistent upload schedule. So, and I don't put an abundant amount of videos out. So I don't feel like you're going to get badgered. So if you're worried about that, just hit that subscribe button and the notification. And that'll be great. Appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you guys watching, supporting. And I will hopefully see you on the next one.